Heavenly Father, gathered in your name in this, your sacred house, we pause first of all to say thank you. Thank you for this morning's uprising. Thank you for taking us through the course of this day and giving us a hope as we see the close of this day. Lord God, we pause now and we ponder your goodness. For by your grace and mercy, we are yet alive. And so we say thank you. But now, Lord, recognize in who you are. Your words declare, I am the resurrection and I am the life. He who believeth in me, even though he dies, yet shall he live. And whosoever lives and believes in me shall never die. We thank you for being our hope. And tonight we present to you, Lord God, your servant Frank. The sheep who heard your voice and answered, Here am I, use me. We thank you, Lord, for his obedience to you. And even now, though we don't understand, we still won't question you because you are God all by yourself and you do all things well. Comfort us who mourn. We mourn, but we mourn with hope that one day when this earth would have passed away, and you will return in your glory. We and our brother Frank will hear from your royal lips to our mortal ears, well done, good and faithful servant, enter into the joys of your Lord. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. May we even as we thank you, take an account that we too one day must pass this way. And so may we attune our hearts to know you, to love you, to serve you, and one day to live in eternity with you. Well, hello. Is everybody all right? I got a lot of things I could say about Frank, but most of all, Frank was my English teacher. He watched the singers in the Bahamas and he told me, you're not going to be like them. You're not going to say woman, you say woman. So he taught me so much. That's one that's a friend. Oh Lord my God, when I am awesome wonder, consider all the world. Thy hands has made. I see the star. I hear the rolling thunder. Thy power throughout the universe display. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great God is, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. And through the woods and for his grace I wonder, and hear the bird sing it sweetly in the tree. Then I woke from that lovely oar and grandeur, and there I proclaim, my God, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, 
my Savior God to do How great I want How great I want When Christ should come They'd shout of acclamation And take me home For joy that fills my soul Then I woke With humble adoration and there I'll proclaim, my God, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to do. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to do. How great thou art, how good my God is. But the poem says, should you go first and I remain, to finish with the scroll, no lengthening shadows shall creep in to make this life seem droll. We've had so much of happiness, we've had our share of joy. But memory is one gift of God that death cannot destroy. This evening we have come to pay tribute to a legend extraordinaire. A man for the time and a man ahead of his time. Franklin Simpson Penn. I didn't realize how old Frank was until his age appeared on the television. And I had to look twice. And I said, and we all agree, either Frank looked good for his age, or he used plenty just for men at an early age. <laughs> the truth of the matter is, Frank didn't like to spend money. He was nifty. And he didn't throw away clothes. After all, he was always the same size. Only Frank in this year could wear polyester pants and a dakishi shirt, a dakishi shirt, and they always fit him. Frank didn't change his car often either. It was either a 1966 LTD, a 1973 Capri, a 1980 Black Oldsmobile. And Frank Black Oldsmobile only made three stops. At his house in Holmes's Rock, at his studio, and at Royal Bank on Thursday. <laughs> and on Sundays, it stopped at the Church of the Ascension. Frank was an independent man who loved his family, and he was proud of his heritage, his Turks and Caicos heritage. Frank was not afraid of no one. He respected you, but he didn't fear you. The Bible says we ought to fear God and keep his commandment. So if he had to be victimized for what he believed was right, then so be it. His saying was, if I perish, I perish. Frank had his share of trials and tribulations. My mind goes back to Hurricane Francis, when Frank, the only man to get to Freeport that morning, as the whole of Eight Mile Rock and West Grand Bahama was shut off because of the water, Frank made it up to his studio. And when he opened his door, there he found six foot of water on the inside. He sat down and said he needed to write a play. And so the play was that after the devastation and pain, it's time to laugh and be inspired again. And I was happy to perform in that play with Frank, where he was the director. Frank was a man who was always first. He was the first Bahamian to sing Bahamian music. While Ronnie Butler was going down by Burma Road, Frank Penn was in the bush. He was the first Bahamian to own a recording studio here in Freeport. And to immortalize his father, he named the wing after the late Simpson Penn. He was the first black man I knew to marry a white woman. <laughs> he was the first black Bahamian I knew to do stand-up comedy in the casino. Let's admit it, Frank wasn't funny. But to them white people, Frank was another Bill Cosby. <laughs> and it was people like Frank who opened the door for people like Will Stubbs and myself. Frank was the first man in whom this rock to own a swimming pool. 
Before Frank's swimming pool, the only thing we could have swim in was the pond. <laughs> Frank was an acclaiming gentleman who wanted to, and I must tell you, Frank was a man who, whenever you wanted to use the studio, he would give you a good deal, but you had to pay him first. You couldn't drag nothing across the stage, and you couldn't eat, drink, or chew gum in the studio. And whenever your production was finished, Frank was always there to clean up his studio for the next production or church the next morning. He always crawled out of a back room, you never know where he came from. Frank was a proud Texas Islander, a noble son of Mr. Simpson Penn, a loving father, a committed bus businessman, a faithful supporter of the FNM, and a man I'm proud to call my friend. The question was asked by the prophet James of what is this life? And the answer was replied that it is even a vapor that appeared for a little while and then vanished away. May his soul rest in peace.